Hi, in this video, prepare to pray, prepare to receive from the ministry of Apostle Joshua Selman. In this video, you'll be praying against every spiritual writings opposing you, according to Colossians 2 4, verse 14 to 18. The Bible was saying, blotting out every handwriting of ordinances that was set against us. So prepare yourself to pray intensively and be expectant to be blessed. God bless you. The Bible says, blotting out every handwriting. There are handwritings. There are records kept in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not live long. There are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not be blessed. There are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not have any child again. The devil says you wasted all your children and all of them have gone. There is a record in the realm of the spirit that says you have misused all the opportunities that you were given. But tonight, plead the blood. It can blot it out. Come on now. It can blot it out. But it can blot it out. It can blot out covenant. It can blot out covenant. Welcome to Chat Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verse 130, the entrance of thy word giveth life. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. And he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the Lord and the accuser came before him attempting to rail accusations. The Bible says blotting out every handwriting. There are handwritings. There are records kept in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not live long. There are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not be blessed. There are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not have any child again. The devil says you wasted all your children and all of them have gone. There is a record in the realm of the spirit that says you have misused all the opportunities that you were given. But tonight, you live the wayward life and all kinds of things happen and the earth cries against you. But when I see the blood, you were involved in all kinds of blood covenants and fraternities in ignorance. But now that you are in Christ, when I see the blood, I know I've not been a titer. You are authorized to destroy me, but see the blood. A cause, causeless, shall not stand. A cause, causeless. So if the blood of Jesus takes away the legal access, the effect must lead me to effect. Mercy is a weapon and you are about to use it now. Ha! And he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the Lord and the accuser came before him attempting to rail accusations and he said is this not a reed that i have taken out of fire and he said the lord rebuke you listen the mercy of god is a weapon you can use it and say satan i know you are supposed to destroy me but what about this i present to you the mercy of god I present to you the blood of the eternal covenant. I present to you the advocacy of Jesus at the right hand of the Father, standing and speaking. I present to you the sinless blood. I present to you Calvary. Lift your voice. Invoke mercy. Invoke mercy. Every voice. The voice of mercy. Hallelujah. 
hear me tonight you're going to use it as a weapon over the devourer i know i've not been a tighter you are authorized to destroy me but see the blood when i see the blood when i see the blood when i see the blood you should be destroyed but the blood will speak hear me you live the wayward life and all kinds of things happen and the earth cries against you but when i see the blood when i see the blood you were involved in all kinds of blood covenants and fraternities in ignorance but now that you are in christ when i see the blood lift up your voice and plead the blood hey! invoke mercy come on now Hallelujah. Hear me. The Bible says, blotting out every handwriting. There are handwritings. There are records kept in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not live long. There are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not be blessed. There are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not have any child again. The devil says you wasted all your children and all of them have gone. There is a record in the realm of the spirit that says you have misused all the opportunities that you were given. But tonight, plead the blood. It can blot it out. Come on now. It can blot it out. It can blot it out. It can blot out covenant. It can blot out It can blot out covenant. Was he praying? Hear me. A cause causeless shall not stand. A cause causeless. So if the blood of Jesus takes away the legal access, the effects must leave me too. Open your mouth and declare every pattern. You have been blotted. You need my life. Patterns of barrenness. Patterns of failure. Come on now, Koinoni, are you praying?
listen, listen, listen. Listen. When you activate this, you will find out that no longer will there be an accusation to say, oh, you once in, were in the world, you committed 19 abortions and blood is speaking and that's why your life is not moving it should not move but now that you have invoked mercy it makes the cause causeless that means it should not come again are we together you stole money help them please and all of that you destroyed another person's destiny but now that you are in Christ what of the blood he showed me Joshua the high priest please take seriously this is what I did for my own life oh let me tell you for we rise to our access to mysteries in the kingdom I want to pray for you but we're going to pray one more prayer point hear me the Bible says the scripture we started in give us that scripture again lamentations Five verse seven. Please quickly. We want to pray and then we'll round up. Lamentations. Chapter five verse seven. Our fathers have seen and are not, and we have borne their iniquities. But now, if I appropriate the revelation that I've been called out of every tribe, out of every tongue, out of every nation, I can't go to hell because I, I was born in Kogi. Oh, I was born in Plateau State. I did ask them to do witchcraft. And now that they have done it, if the land is cursed, I exempt myself. I can't be a victim of another man's wickedness. Listen, I'd like you to pray with all your heart and say, I begin a new order. A new order. Dissociated from the past. Alienated from witchcraft and causes and yokes by the blood of the eternal God. Why are you praying? Alienated. Every biological disorder. Every genetic disorder. Pray. Every yoke that made you ass. That made you ass. That gave you hepatitis. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, I want to pray for you. This is our year of triumph. Now, thanks be to God who causes us always to triumph. I want to pray for you. Listen, let me tell you if God be God, everything that you're carrying, I don't care whether it's self inflicted, you have invoked the blood. The blood provokes the compassion of the Christ. His advocacy at the throne of the Father does not happen automatically. It happens in response to an incense sent from the earth. The same way his high priestly ministry, the Bible says is in the order of Melchizedek. Melchizedek did not speak until he had an encounter with Abraham and he gave him a tenth of all. I want to pray for you now because there are lives and destinies under the yoke of witchcraft koinonia remains an uncomfortable place for them until it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be lifted from off your neck and the yoke from off your shoulder and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing yes I stretch my hands right now. You hear me? I'm hearing in my spirit household wickedness and the fire of God is falling upon all who are victims of that. 
I stretch my hands right now. Let it be. Shabbos kupadabash. Lekrete ketoko soto balakata. Shabrekete kosuta variatakata. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Inside, outside, I stretch my hands. Be free right now. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus, be free right now from activities of witchcraft. Hallelujah. Demonic activities. Strangers coming to you in the night to sleep with you. Men, women, animals, and all kinds of things. Coming to destroy you, plant rubbish in your body. I pray right now, in the name of Jesus, anyone who is a victim of every kind of manipulation in dreams, caused as a result of ancestry, right now in the name of Jesus, I command freedom, I command liberty, I command freedom, I command liberty. The blood speaks right now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said, The earth is cursed for your sake. He says, With the sweat of your brows shall you eat. But the Bible says in Galatians chapter 3 verse 29 He says and if ye be Christ's Then are ye Abraham's seed And heirs according to the promise I want to speak and set you free There is a cause of hardship Many people are victims of this cause Hardship has nothing to do with poverty Listen carefully Many people here You are standing representing your families as I pray and right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I stretch my hands right now I command that yoke be taken from off your shoulder help them please be taken from off your shoulders be taken from off your shoulders right now in the name of Jesus I command that cause of hardship be taken from off your shoulders in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ hear me i declare to you a dimension of ease you have never seen in your life step into it right now in the name of jesus christ every yoke of disfavor bad luck that looms around the life of men and women here so that you never rise is like a veil on your face and anyone who sees you walks against you I command that fail Be taken off right now Be taken off right now Be taken off right now In the name of Jesus Christ And Cain said My punishment is too great he said, I have become a fugitive and a vagabond. He said, all who see me will slay me. All who see me will slay me. All who see me will slay me. Whether they are strangers, something upon me makes all who see me to slay me. Any mark. Seketo shalakras katabadiyasha. Lebren tekes kotabras kataliya. Any mark upon your life upon your business upon your ministry that keeps attracting woes keeps attracting scandals keep attracting negativism right now in the name of jesus that man be blotted forever be blotted forever be blotted forever Any strange sickness in your body through your blood that came from ancestry genotypes SS Jakatosia AS there's no such reality in the realm of the spirit that provision does not exist is a manipulation from the second heavens 
altering the genetics of men but right now in the name of jesus every blood related issue passed to you by covenant i blot it out of your body right now i blot it out right now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah the classic sign of courses and yokes is the presence of patterns you usually are not the first to experience that but i want to prophesy right now i don't know what patterns you have seen around your life you have seen around your finances you have seen around your work with god you are up today down tomorrow you are serious today on serious tomorrow you love the lord today you love something else tomorrow your ministry rises today crashes tomorrow your finances is up today and is blown like the wind in the name of jesus the bible says every house is built by some man but god is the builder therefore i decree and declare that any pattern any spiritual construction that was built by an agency other than the christ in the name that is above all names i command a tearing down and a rebuilding now 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 announce to the realm of the spirit whatever should have happened to your life by now for good but because of the presence of these embargoes there are dimensions you should have entered in Christ there are levels of growth levels of advancement and influence and wisdom and access that you should have been a custodian of by grace and for whatever reason certain objections have risen in the realm of the spirit to stop you in the name of jesus christ i provoke restoration right now 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 i pray over your life and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and the Bible says Elijah ran on bare foot and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel I want to speak speed in your life I don't know what tied you down by now according to the program of God for you you should have entered certain levels you should have been the mother of four children now but you are yet to have one therefore I command speed step into it right now in the name of Jesus, I command speed, speed of accomplishment, speed of accomplishment. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. The last prayer point I want to pray for you. For there is an unction that can come on a man. There is an anointing that can produce an outcome that is not available in the earth. There is an anointing that is called the breaker anointing. The yoke destroying. There is such a provision in the kingdom to not only be set free but to be a possessor of a spiritual substance that is capable of causing everyone within the influence of your grace to come under the influence of the liberty that you possess it's an anointing there is a provision in the dealings of god with men where men can carry atmospheres that have prophetic implication to all those who come within the circumference of that atmosphere you will not have the time to pray for everybody but you can carry a climate I want to release a grace and unction upon your life that you will go back home you will go back to regions you will go back to places you will enter your room there are physical territories that are caused but like Mara the water you will pick it
it and in the name of Jesus you will change that situation like the listen 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 the Bible says that the prophets were eating and they said there is death in this food and he said bring me flour and he put it and said go ahead and eat there is an ability there is an unction that can veto the plans of darkness in the name of Jesus wherever you are like a mantle may that anointing come upon your life right now soto sota lekre to sketerika a breaker anointing the grace and the unction carry the fire carry the grace carry the unction command deliverance make environments cost free in the name of Jesus your home your presence in your office your presence in your ministry sustain an ability to nullify ordinances nullify yokes and causes an enchantment surely they shall gather but because their gathering is not of God there is a substance you possess that will disengage everything that is of God receive it now in the name of Jesus message you just watched let us know what stood out to you in the comment section you can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos so more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages we celebrate you and see you in our next video thank you